Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and today we're going to be completing a ton of side quests. But before we do, two things I want to say. Number one, make sure that you have Marlene's Hollow Tape. So if you don't have that on you, go get it from your settlement or wherever you left it. And secondly, I did get a level off recording. So let's go ahead and put that level in real quick. We're going to put it into toughness. The next one is going to go into science. Let's go ahead and go over to our map. Over here is a place to discover if you want to go over there and discover it. I'm not going to bother with it because there's nothing special over there, but feel free to. Let's go ahead and go to Bunker Hill. Proceed carefully. These fortifications may still be inhabited. We're going to talk to Deb and turn in her side quest. You're not with my caravan, so don't bother me. Huh? I cleared the training yard of ferals. Finally, someone that can get things done. Here's your pay. You know, Kessler's been looking for someone competent. If you're looking for more work, talk with her. Before you go, though, I was hoping you could spend some of that reward here with little old me. Not right now. Come back later. My stock's always changing. Now, normally you'll get a... Secure. Shut up, Dance. I'm talking. Normally you will get a trophy for doing 50 side quests, but unfortunately my game crashed, so I had to restart the I video. I fixed up most of what's here myself, so it's all guaranteed. So we did not see the trophy pop. Let's go ahead and talk to Joe Savaldi, give him his grandfather's hat. Caravans ain't exactly the get to know you type. I found your grandpa. That way. Not much left except his hat. Grandpa Savaldi. Damn. People on the hill don't think kindly about the Minutemen. Say they didn't help when we needed them. My grandpa was a hero. And I won't hear anything different. He died fighting for the Commonwealth. He's a hero in anyone's book. Wish more people looked at it that way. You know, I heard about you. Building the Minutemen back up? Good luck getting Kessler to give a damn. But you keep that hat. My grandfather would have wanted it to be put to use. Instead of hanging on the wall of some shitty bar. Let's go ahead and put on Grandpa Savaldi's hat. There's nothing special about it, but I do like the style of the Minutemen hat. You ever see one of our caravans on the road? It's a dice with death every time. Let's go ahead and find Kessler. She is normally best not to talk to the raiders. Farming over here. So Deb's been talking you up. Says you get results. I got a sensitive job that needs someone with skills and more rolling around in their head than marbles. That sound like you? I've had no complaints so far. Really? Where have you been all my life? Our town works because everyone knows we got the raider angle covered. The gangs get paid off and leave our caravans alone. But Zeller's army is getting greedy, asking for more caps. And after we pay them, the bastards still hit our people. But I found out the army's holed up in an old prep school. The job's simple. Deal with them. Consider Zeller's army dealt with. These guys are dangerous, so be careful. If there are survivors, rescue them. If any lost caravan hands make their way back into circulation, that'll do wonders for trade. But above all, you're just a freelancer working for yourself. Never even heard of us on the hill, right? Let's go ahead and go to our data. We're going to go down to miscellaneous. Put that mission on. And then we're going to come over here to the East Boston Preparatory School. We were over here in the last video. Let's go ahead and crouch. Bring out our gun. Turn on our pit boy. Now, there shouldn't be any enemies in here. 
hopefully. Let's cross our fingers. Because we were in here recently. The only enemy we should have is Zeller. We already have the cell key, so we can just go ahead and open these up. I couldn't take much more of it. Thank you. Don't let any of these Zeller's army bastards live. Kessler send you? Thank God. Make sure you walk up to them or else it's not going to initiate them that they're freed. Tried to heal. Anything useful? Dead raider right there. From when we were in here earlier. Let's go ahead and exit out of here and go back to Bunker Hill. Should the need arise, this fortification would make an excellent fallback point. Talk to Kessler. One of the prisoners told me what they went through at the prep school. I had no idea. And you did that by yourself, right? Oh, here's the payout. It's the Minutemen who helped you. If hey, you support us, thanks. we can help even more. Well, that ended the dialogue. That's kind of annoying. Oh well, doesn't matter. There's more to that dialogue. You can talk to her about the Minutemen, but she still won't join. Let's go ahead and go over to the Pridwin. Let's go ahead and talk to Captain Kells and let him know about the recon squad. Oh man, if I'm late. Hold up, Knight. Let me make one thing clear. As a member of the Brotherhood, you serve under my command. If you want my respect, you will have to earn it. When I give you a mission, I expect results. Is that clear? Perfectly. Good. I'm aware of your search for the missing recon team. I want that resolved. Do you have anything to report? I've completed my investigation into the missing recon team. Paladin Brandis was the only survivor. Brandis? What happened to him? I convinced him to return to the Brotherhood. Well done. It may be difficult for him to adjust to life in the Brotherhood again, but his experience should serve us well. Very well. Is there anything else? Do you want their holotapes? Thank you. I'll see that they make it to their next of kin. That's all. I'll prepare a full report for the Elder. In the meantime, allow me to offer you a new suit of armor. Bear it with distinction. I don't really like this armor because you need low health to use it, but if that's your build, it could be a pretty decent armor set. This was no easy mission, Knight. Well done. Now, I have a more pressing matter that requires your attention. I've received reports that supplies have been disappearing from our supply depot at the airport. I suspect this may be an inside job. If so... That's a serious security risk. That's what worries me. If there is a traitor, our entire operation here could be in jeopardy. I want you to take charge of this investigation. Report to Knight Sergeant Gavel at the base. He commands our logistics division. He can familiarize you with his unit and the depot. Beyond that, you have leave to conduct your investigation as you see fit. Report your findings directly to me. Is that clear? Yes, sir. I expect results. 
See that I get them. Dismissed. So we're going to get the quest duty or dishonor. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Proud to be serving under Elder Maxon. I had enough of lions and his foolish ways. We're going to head down to the airport terminal. Let me guess. Captain Kell sent you? That's right. Let's take this somewhere more private. Follow me. Hesitating to pull the trigger on any of the Commonwealth scum. We've converted this section of the terminal into our primary supply depot. Everything the Brotherhood needs to operate passes through here. Supplies from the Pridwin, salvage from the field, we handle it all. Access is strictly limited to the logistics detail, and we track every crate, every bullet, every bolt that comes through that door. Which is why I don't take kindly to these accusations. I know every soldier in this unit. The thought that anyone would question their loyalty makes me sick. If you've got questions, ask. Otherwise, stay out of our way. Watch your tone, Sergeant. Sir. Tell me about the logistics division. I've been in charge of this unit for almost ten years now. We're a small group. We stick together. And we keep the Brotherhood running. Tell me about the missing supplies. We're down over 20 crates, if you believe the scribes. All food. Dried meat, Instamash, mac and cheese. It doesn't make sense. I could see someone stealing weapons or tech, but our thief goes to all this trouble for a lifetime supply of cram. Where should I begin my investigation? You shouldn't. This is a waste of time. I've already spoken with my men. They haven't seen anything. Tegan's scribes just... Fouled up the books again. If you insist on questioning someone, go bother Lucia or Clark. I can spare them. Lucia and Clark? Knight Lucia and Initiate Clark. They were just posted to this detail a few weeks ago. They're still learning their way around, but I'll have them in shape soon enough. If you have to badger someone with your questions, it might as well be them. That's all for now, Sergeant. Take my advice. Poke around a little. Then tell the captain to let it go. It's not worth your time or mine. Let's grab this fusion core. You hear about the thefts, right? Look, I already told Sergeant Gabble everything I know. I'm conducting this investigation, Initiate. I have some questions for you. Oh, this is a formal investigation now? Look, I want to get to the bottom of this as much as anyone. What do you want to know? Tell me about the logistics unit. There are what, ten of us now? Something like that. Our division reports to Proctor Teagan, up on the Pridwin. Sergeant Gavel handles day-to-day -day operations. He's run logistics for years. Other than the sergeant, there's Lucia, me, the scribes, and a few other knights who aren't fit for field duty. Lucia? <laughs> Excuse me. Night, Lucia. We joined the Brotherhood together. She'll probably get assigned to a patrol team soon. Me? I'll still be stuck here. Tell me about the missing supplies. I really don't know anything. I've heard the rumors same as everyone else. But that's all. What rumors have you heard? Well, they say raiders with stealth boys hit the terminal every night. That supplies disappear faster than we can bring them in. It's a lot of garbage. I usually work the night shift. Believe me, the only thing you risk dying of is boredom. What's the security situation here like? We're in the middle of a hardened military base, under constant guard. Nothing's getting in or out of here without us knowing about it. You really think the base is that secure? I do. And even if something did make it into the supply depot, there are knights on duty in here at all times. We'd see something. That's all, Initiate. Knight. Let's talk to Lucia. 
copper wire. Copper wire. Could you tell me where... Oh, I'm sorry, I don't think we've met. Knight Lucia, Logistics. What can I do for you, Knight? I'm conducting an investigation into the missing supplies. The captain appointed an investigator? Is it really that bad? I'm not sure I can be of much help, but, um, what do you want to know? What's it like working in logistics? It's not a bad post. Sergeant Gavel is tough, but I've learned a lot from working here. I guess some people take to it and some don't. Like Clark. What about Clark? We joined the Brotherhood around the same time, about two years ago. We've always been friends. Well, until recently. Why? What happened? It was, uh... <clears throat> it was after the battle. The battle? Battle for the airport. It was our first real combat mission. It was something to see. The Pridwin coming in under full vertebrate escort. Guns blazing. We were one of the first teams to hit the ground. Dozens of ferals. We opened fire and cut them down. And hunted the ones that tried to run. It was everything I had hoped for. But Clark... He hasn't been the same since. It's like he's just given up. Since then, I've noticed him slipping off by himself. Once or twice a day. I never thought much of it, but... Do you think you could follow him? See what he's doing? His shift should be over in a few minutes. Maybe it's nothing, but... I'm worried about him. War tempers the strong and breaks the weak. If that is what happened, he wouldn't be the first. It's not much of a lead, but let's see where it takes us. All right, that's it for today. We're gonna shadow Clark. Don't despair, brother. We're here to save the Commonwealth. Try not to get too close to him. Not that it's a big deal. You can have him spot you if you want to do this quest a little faster. He'll run up to you, ask what you're doing. You'll just say nothing. And then turn around, let him do his thing. He'll run straight to the destination. But I prefer to follow him slowly. Just keep your distance. Hopefully you have a good amount of sneak. Grab some hub flower. We're going to stop at this red little beam or whatever it is. Wait for him to do his thing. Just slowly creep up behind him. Just keep watching him from a distance. He's going to go through that door over there. Okay, now we can go follow him through the door. Let's go ahead and turn our Pip-Boy on so that we have some light down here. It does get pretty dark. Going down. Facilities. We're going to go through this door. This is quite an unusual barrel. Damn it. They're under the base. Open fire.
So right over here, we're going to make sure that we grab Knight Ryland's hollow tag. It's going to come in handy find. a little later. Paladin dance thrust at his pelvis in my face. Gonna have some more ghouls over here. I heard something. Is that two legendaries back to back? I think so. Oh my goodness. We're gonna switch over to this. If you get any kind of explosive weapon, it is always good. So we'll be switching over to that here soon. Probably in the next video I'll have it all upgraded and everything. Here to the right is going to be another ghoul, but I guess he didn't wake up. That's good. There he is. I knew he was behind this truck. I just didn't know where he was at. Normally he walks towards me. Kill those sleeping ghouls. And there's one right there. Now, normally you can go and take everything out over there. I like to actually hop down here. And then I don't have to deal with them. I do normally take that ghoul out, though. Ready to fight a ton of ghouls over here. They're going to be running down. Maybe. We'll come over here and loot real quick. I don't think we're alone. Across the way here, there's two ghouls. Right here, you can hack that terminal and turn on uh, two turrets if you'd like. I'm not going to bother with it. You hear that? Sent them back to hell. So there's the first turret and then right behind us is another turret so if you don't feel like dealing with the ghouls you can always turn those turrets on right here stay in the doorway let the ghouls come to you there's quite a few should be one to the left here too getting lucky with my stealth Okay, we can stand up if you want. Come on. Give it a try. There, that's it. Hold up. Not bad, is it? Easy now. Hang on. I'll get you some more. <sighs> huh? Who's there? Come out. Let's talk to Clark. You. Initiate. What are you doing down here? I was investigating the missing supplies. It looks like I found them. Damn it! I thought I was being careful. Someone was bound to catch me eventually. I can't keep this up forever. You stole the supplies. Yes, Knight. I did. I'm in logistics. No one even questioned me when I took them out of the terminal. I've been bringing them down here at night to feed the ghouls. It's been working. So far. 
This doesn't make any sense. Why would you do this? It's a long story. I had a friend who was a ghoul once. As human as you or me. But the Brotherhood... The Brotherhood says ghouls are abominations. They all deserve to die. Would you kill him too? Just because of who he is? Was he a feral? What difference does it make? Weren't they all human once? I joined the Brotherhood two years ago. In all that time, I never doubted our beliefs. Never questioned them. But during the battle for the airport, the ghouls, they just kept coming. I... I killed... I don't even know how many. They started running away. But we... We kept going. I killed them. I killed them all. Kid, you did what you had to do. That's what Lucia said. But we could have stopped. We could have just driven them off. We didn't have to slaughter them. After the battle, I, I needed some time to think. I found this place and the ghouls. What could I do? Report it and they'd all be killed. Ignore them and they'd attack the base. I thought if I brought them food, maybe they'd just stay down here. There wouldn't have to be any more killing. Do you? Do you think I did the right thing? Of course not. You betrayed the Brotherhood. You put all of our lives at risk. The Brotherhood is wrong. If we just kill everything we fear, are we really any better than the ghouls? What are you going to do with them anyway? They're monsters, Clark. They have to be destroyed. No! No, I won't just stand by and let you kill them. Not again. So you have two choices. If you think your charisma is high enough, you can ask him to stand down or you can give him the hollow tag and that's what we're going to do because the giving him the hollow tag will guarantee that he's going to stand down and actually see like okay, yeah, they're ghouls but they're feral and they're probably going to kill more people. I found this in the ruins. It's It's Knight Ryland's hollow tag. He worked in the terminal with me. They killed him, didn't they? And as long as they're here, more knights are gonna die. I, I can't be responsible for that. And, and what about me? You should turn yourself in. I suppose so. The captain will never understand. But it's the honorable thing to do. You might respect that, at least. I... I need a few minutes to get my thoughts together. Go on ahead. The elevator's in the next room. You can use my keycard. I'll be up soon. We're gonna crouch. We're gonna take out the ghouls. Safety's off! Take this fusion core. We're going to be killing a glowing ghoul, so be prepared for that. We can stand up now. A fun fact, if you go back to where we first met Paladin Dance and you told him to turn himself in, he will be in one of the cells later on. Pretty cool Going attention up. to detail. Lower level. Let's go ahead and exit out of here and go talk to Captain Kells. Let's go ahead and go up to the Pridwin. 
If you have a moment, there's something I'd like to discuss with you. Of course. What's on your mind? Thank you. This isn't a formal meeting. I simply want to clear the air. I think we may have gotten off on the wrong foot when we first met, and I feel like I owe you an apology. Expecting you to embrace the standards of the Brotherhood without having a history with us was unfair. And given that you've adjusted so well to our beliefs, I don't think I needed to push so hard. That's very kind. Thank you. Well, you deserve it. When I was an initiate, my sponsor was Paladin Krieg, toughest squad leader I ever served with. He was a model soldier, embodying the values every trainee was striving to achieve. Fiercely loyal, secure in his beliefs, and brave to a fault. From the moment I was assigned to his squad, I was singled out. It felt like he was pushing me harder than the rest of the team. I fought by his side for years, and we had some seriously close calls. But he never explained to me why I was treated that way. It sounds like he was trying to motivate you. If he was, I never got a chance to ask. After I was promoted to Paladin, and I had moved on to my own squad, I received word that Krieg was killed at Adams Air Force Base. The news was like being kicked in the stomach. I mean, I'd lost some of my brothers and sisters before, but his death, well, it really got to me. It's taken me a long time to realize it, but the reason Krieg was so tough on me is the same reason I'm so tough on you. It's because I believe in you, and I don't want to see any of your potential go to waste. What happened at Adams Air Force Base? Back in the capital wasteland, the Brotherhood was at war with a traitorous group of rebels who called themselves the Enclave. They maintained a mobile command post at the remains of Adams Air Force Base, just outside of Washington, D.C. The Brotherhood spearheaded an assault on the command post, which was ultimately successful, but costly. Quite a few soldiers died in that battle, and Paladin Krieg was among them. He made his mark on history. And whether you choose to believe it or not, you have the potential to do the same. I'm flattered that you have so much faith in me. You've earned that faith by your own hand. Well, I've said what I had to say, and I hope that it meant something to you. I trust you'll keep this in confidence, of course. Some of that information was of a personal nature, and, well, I'd like to keep it that way. Would it be possible to speak off the record for a moment? Absolutely. Go ahead. Thank you. This is difficult for me to say, so I hope you'll bear with me as I try to get through it. When you were first placed under my sponsorship, I had some serious reservations about it. Despite all that, this has turned out to be a rewarding experience for both of us. At this point, honestly, I don't feel like there's anything else I could teach you about being a Brotherhood soldier that you don't already know. It's apparent from your attitude and your actions that you intend to keep those ideals close to your heart. I'm flattered to hear this, but I feel like there's more. There is. I'm just not very good at these sort of things. Let me start at the beginning. I grew up alone in the capital wasteland. Spent most of my childhood picking through the ruins and selling scrap. When I was a bit older and had a few caps to my name, I moved into Rivet City and opened a junk stand. While I was there, I met a guy named Cutler. We got along pretty well. Watched each other's backs and kept each other out of trouble. When the Brotherhood came through on a recruiting run, we felt like it was a way out of our nowhere lives. So we joined up. I'm glad you had greater ambitions than just selling junk. Once I saw what the Brotherhood had to offer, there was no comparison. Anyway, about a year after we were posted to the Pridwin, Cutler vanished on a scouting op. It took some convincing, but I was able to persuade my CO to let me assemble a squad and search for him. It took almost three weeks, but we tracked his team down to a super mutant hive. Those wretched abominations had slaughtered everyone but Cutler. He should have been so lucky. The mutant bastards used their FEV to change him into one of their own kind. He wasn't Cutler anymore. I had to... It was my duty to put him down. You did the right thing. It's what I was taught. I don't know if it was right. Ever since Cutler died, I've seen other soldiers come and go. Some were brave, some were honest. Hell, some were even downright heroic. But I'd never consider any of them to be a good friend. A friend like Cutler was. Until now. It's a good feeling, but it frightens me all the same. 
having a bond with someone than losing them. It changes you. I don't want to go through that again. It'll never come to that. I promise. Even though I'm well aware that you have no control over it, I appreciate the sentiment. I just thought you deserved to know how I felt. If you feel that I've overstepped my bounds, I completely understand. Whatever the case may be, I appreciate the fact that you took the time to listen. I heard that Paladin Krieg had the shiniest meat pie sickle and was the conductor of the poop train. You think the Commonwealth looks bad? You should see the capital wasteland. Let's go ahead and talk to Captain Kells and let him know about the news. I've just received word from Sergeant Gavel. Initiate Clark has made a full confession. I gather we have you to thank for it. Clark has been taken into custody, and I've dispatched a patrol team to secure the ruins. I don't think I could have asked for a better outcome. I have some caps for your service. Also, I'd like you to have a piece of armor from my personal collection. Wear it well, Knight. Now we can head out of here. We're going to head back over to where we started the video at Recon Bunker Theta. Let's go ahead and face east. We're going to follow this path around. Hopefully by the next video, I will have Paladin, Dan Paladin Dance's affinity maxed and we can do his side quest, but we'll just have to see. I'm going to head southeast. you want there is some stuff to discover over there again i'm not going to worry about every little location what the fuck was that oh my goodness that was a something straight to the face i don't even know what that was you're a little late guys already took care of the raiders Go ahead and heal up. We're going to be fighting some super mutants here in just a moment. Matter of fact, looks like we're going to get a little help from the Brotherhood of Steel. Let's just run in here and help them out. Damn you. I was reloading. Thank you. Okay, I believe that is all the super mutants. So if you take out all the super mutants over here, the slog can become a settlement. We'll be stopping by the slog here in a little bit. For now, we're going to go over by Green Top Nursery. I'm going to take a right over here at this road. 
Green Top Nursery can also be a settlement if you so choose. Got another level. Let's go ahead and put that in to science. I think after science and toughness is maxed out, we're going to do a couple levels into lock picking. We're actually going to do two. That way we can get a trophy. Did I say lock picking? I meant pickpocketing. I apologize. Let's come down here, head south down this road, and then right here where we see the road veer off, we're going to come up this path. Should be some mole rats that pop out. Bleed, you belt. Nothing we can't handle, right? A little bit of an annoyance just because they burrow underground, but... Nothing impossible. Do it in the brotherhood. Okay, now we can come over here to this bunker. This bunker is going to be very important for Paladin Dance and the end of his quest line. We can loot that. Take that out. Take that out. And then there should be a robot Hostile. here. Now we can head east. Just follow this makeshift trail east. You'll probably run into a Yaogwai over here. Ooh. Legendary. That's a little scary. That's actually a pretty good piece of combat armor. Just keep heading southeast. Eventually you'll run into this road. We're going to make a left at the road, heading north. And over here is the slog. Now, normally you can take this road down, but we're going to be heading over there in a minute. So just keep heading northeast until you get to the slog. There's a little break in the fence that we can go through. Didn't mean to ignore you. Just got caught up in my work again. So, what do you think? Nice, isn't she? Are, are you the Arlen Glass? The toy designer? I am. Where did you hear that? Did you have a daughter? Marlene. She died in the war. I wasn't the best father. Too old, worked too much. In the end, I, I never even got to say goodbye. I think I have something that belongs to you. A uh, holotape? Let's see now. Welcome to... Go ahead. <sighs> Hi, Daddy. When are you coming home? Oh, God. Marlene. You work too much. I want you to read to me again. Mommy oh. says you're helping all the horses find good homes. Take care of them, okay? I have. I love you. And you. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> Buttercup says she loves you, too. Me miss you. Come home soon. Oh, Marlene. I, uh, I, 
Give me a minute. <clears throat> it's been so long. I never thought I'd hear their voices again. You can't imagine what this means to me. All these years, you never gave up, did you? You're still working too much. I suppose so. We made toys. We made children happy. That's all that mattered. And as long as I can still do that, I will. It's the least I can do for her. It's a long story, but I lost my wife and son too. Then maybe you can understand. She was right, you know. I did work too much. And now I'll never hear her voice again. Never get to hold her. Kiss her goodnight. All I have left are the memories. And this tape. As one father to another, thank you. What happened to them? We had an apartment in Cambridge. I went to the office that morning to try to talk to Mark again. When, when it all happened, I tried to get back, but the city was in chaos. By the time I got home, there was only a crater. I lay down in the ruins. I, I just wanted to die. Instead, I woke up like this. What now? I, I can't possibly repay you for this. Here, take, take everything I have. It's not much, but, and one more thing. I was saving this for her birthday. All these years, it was all I had to remember her by. Please, I want you to have it. Hey. Welcome to the slog. We're the only Tarberry bog in the Commonwealth. Go ahead. So what do you think of the place? Looks fine, I guess. I wouldn't really know. I'd say it looks quite resourceful. Yeah, I didn't think you had the look of a farmer about you. More the city type, I'd say. But with that smooth, clean skin. You probably noticed it's only ghouls around here. I used to live in Diamond City until that rat bastard mayor threw me and all the other ghouls out. I decided that we ghouls should have a place where we could feel welcome. And that's mainly why I started up this farm. Makes sense. It's not the only reason I created the slog, though. I also had something else a little bigger in mind. What if this place could be more than just a refuge for ghouls who aren't welcome elsewhere? What if it could also be an example of what we can do when we put our minds to something and work together? We want this to be a place that everyone looks forward to visiting, with smiling faces, good bargains, and great produce. Maybe we can make people take a second look, you know? Maybe then they'd see that we're not monsters. Well, it's a nice goal, anyway. Good luck. I don't have any illusions about how hard it'll be. Every day is a struggle out here. In fact, we've got some trouble right now, and we could really use some help. We can't sell tarberries without traders, and trade caravans need safe roads. There's a gang of super mutants that's been preying on anyone who comes near their turf, including traders. It'd be a great help to us if you could take care of those brutes once and for all. I'll take care of those super mutants. I promise. Good. I didn't know what we were going to do. Okay, apparently I didn't kill all the super mutants, but I'll go do that on my own time. Anyhow, let's go ahead and exit out of the slog. We're gonna head south. And we're going to head to Saugus Ironworks, which is right in front of us. I could have swore I killed all those super mutants. I didn't see any more.
You want to be really careful. The Forge have a lot of flamethrowers. Or flamers, whatever you want to call them. Same thing. Must be my imagination. Having fun, huh? I can do this all day. Shoot that light down. There you are. Hold up. I think we're being stalked. Some guys up top. One right there, kind of hard to see. Standing down. Let's show him how the Brotherhood does it. Then I want to come up here and take out the spotlight real fast. By the way, uh, clearing out the super mutants, the reason why I said I'll do that on my own time is because it's just going to make the slog a settlement, and that's it. You never know what you'll find. Let's go inside. Who's there? I'm not going to turn on my Pip-Boy in here because it's already pretty bright in here from all the molten iron. There's a skull. Got to pick that up. Can't be leaving that stuff behind. Grab that. Let's drop some stuff off on Paladin Dance. Yo. Want to swap some Come gear? I dare you. If you want to hack that terminal, go through the doors. You can. You turn up, you're dead. No need to hide. It'll all be over soon. Go ahead and disarm that trap. No sign of him now. Be careful, this will fall apart. If you stand on it too long, that is. Go ahead and get the Forge Keeper's note. Mission accomplished. We're going to read that real quick. Go over to Miscellaneous. If you want to pause the video to read all of this, you can. This quest, if you're playing on the PS4 or one of the older Xboxes, you're not going to have that. Or you're not going to have it, I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and lockpick this toolbox. 
Sweet. We're going to grab the Forge Recruits note. And we're going to pick up the Smelter Console Password. Grab that stim pack too. Let's go ahead and read the Forged Recruits note. Again, if you want to pause the video to read all this, you can. Go ahead and go into the console. And it's going to tell us to come down here and disable the um, lava flow or the whatever, the flow of hot liquid magma. Molten, <laughs> molten metal. Now we can go back to the console. We can move the crucible. See it moving over there. We're going to pick up the Raider Power Armor left leg, right leg, and then the two mods, which is the Flame Resistant left leg and right leg. We're going to go ahead and put them on this Power Armor. Then we're going to go over to Craft. Go over to the left leg. Put the Flame Resistant mod on. And then the right leg. Do the same. And then we're going to hop in here. Ah, excellent. We're going to grab the Ghoul Slayer's Heavy Incinerator. You'll do 50% more damage to ghouls. It's an okay weapon. We're going to step out of the power armor. I'll be sure to scoop that up on the way out whenever I'm done recording. Let's go up to the top, finish up this quest. And then we will end the video. Help! If he tries to leave, kill him. You must be pretty strong to make it here. A bunch of raiders flinging fire? Not even a challenge. Most of them were never gonna be worth forging in the first place. See, Jake? Here's someone who might actually be worth my time. Unlike you. But, They're gonna kill me. But I brought everything you asked for. Stealing things from your family farm doesn't prove your strength, boy. Though this wonderful sword you brought does put me in the mood to give you one last chance to prove your worth. What do you say? Kill that prisoner and prove that you aren't completely useless. You said we'd be raiding outside the Commonwealth. These people aren't even a threat to us. Prove to me that you can kill! It's him or you. Oh god, what do I do? What do I do? Walk away, Jake. You don't have to do this. Please, let me go! What's You're right. Gonna be, Jake? I don't want to do this. I don't want to join the Forged. I just want to go home. Last chance, Jake. These raiders are using power on If you don't kill the prisoner Aim before for the I count core. to three... Well, it's over. One...
Other oh, ones up top. Choice. They're dead. Okay. Let's go talk to Jake from State Farm. Uh, <clears throat> wait, wait. I'm sorry. I, I messed up. I panicked. What were you doing with those guys anyway? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I just. I thought we'd be raiding outside of the Commonwealth, and that I if I joined them, I could provide for my family. I don't know. God, my dad's right. I'm such an idiot. Look, I, I should probably try to go home and make amends. I know I've got no right to ask, but I bet if you're there to explain, things with my dad would go easier. I bet if you bring my great-granddad's sword, he he'll make it worth your while. He always tries to deal fair with people. I'll wait for you by the overpass near the farm. Let's go ahead and free the prisoner. <clears throat> Thanks a lot. I'm getting out of here. I'm gonna grab this real quick. Want to make sure that you get the dampening rod. That is for Captain Zhao. Grab this up, and then right here we get our last picket fences magazine. Perfect. This will allow us to build statues at our settlement. Comic books? I thought they were a waste of time. And then we can pick up the explosive bobblehead. Yes. This will give us 15% more damage with any explosive. And then we're going to pick up the shish kebab. This is a sword from Fallout 3. It was actually a really good sword. So if you're doing a melee build, this is a good sword to have. And then if you want to take his power armor, you can. Let's go ahead and get out of here, and then we will end the video right after. Let's go ahead and crouch. Don't think there's any enemies over here. I think we killed them all. Pretty sure we did. Just checking around. So what I'm going to do... By the way, there is a trap over there if you open up the door. Up to you if you want to do that. I'm going to hop down over here. And then I can get down over here by the corner. Just trying to see if maybe there was an easier route down. But I know right here by the corner there's a little shed. We can hop down. There's a tension trigger over here if you want to disarm it we don't have to crouch anymore and then we'll go to where we entered the Saugus ironworks and we'll end the video over here all right everyone I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.